Hi guys! So, for those of you who watch me on my other YouTube channels, thank you for joining me on this one. And for those of you who just randomly found this video, awesome! So let me explain to you a little bit what this channel is about. For those of you who are joining me from my other channel and don't know, I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or otherwise known as Mormon. Some of you probably figured that because of my video talking about seminary and EFY. Anyways, so I'm LDS, and recently I've been going through a big decision in my life, whether what to do with my future. And at this point in my life, I've decided that I'm going to go on a mission for my church. And it wasn't just like, oh, I'm going on a mission. A big roller coaster ride of a decision and I'm just really happy and I cannot wait so let me explain to you on how I got that decision so I had a really big spiritual experience when I was 19 years old and long story short at the end it put the idea of maybe going on a mission I thought about it but wasn't serious about it and I then a couple years passed and when I was almost 21 I was thinking a lot more seriously about going I prayed a lot about it and read my patriarchal blessing about it and to see if I can get an answer and I got an answer that I needed to go so at the time I was living in Utah and I told all my friends and I was super excited and I was like guys I'm going on a mission and I was very surprised most of my friends tried to get me to stay and not go and not decide to keep going and they were like why don't you want to just stay and party and have fun party meaning Mormon party just hang out with friends dance party whatever when I say party that's what I mean like, just stay and party with us like try and find a husband that's your duty as a woman to get married and have kids and like all this stuff to like leave the missions to the guys whatever so I was like maybe they're right maybe I'm doing the wrong thing and I always overthink things I always think am I really doing what I'm supposed to be doing is this the future I'm supposed to go is this the path I should be taking like oh my gosh you don't even want to know what goes on in my mind anyway I was like they're right so I did a lot of fasting and praying again and got the answer to go. So, I called my mom and I told her about it and told her that I wanted to move back home so I can just focus on going on a mission and my family. I moved back home and then that was in August and a couple of months went by and I stopped having the feeling of going. I was like, there's no way that I'm feeling, having this feeling again. So, I prayed really hard one night and I was like, I just want one last final answer if I should go. And then we had general conference in October. And before I watched Sunday session, I prayed really hard for that final confirmation again. And when there was a talk, well, first of all, they changed the ages on Saturday. So that was a big deal, like, for a girl's confirmation that early. And I was like, that's crazy, like. That made me think about it again. I'm like, well, I'm so happy for them, but I have that opportunity too. So, so, <laughs> that was one thing. And then Sunday morning, I prayed, and I was like, just help me figure out this need, what I need to do. And someone gave a talk, and it just hit me super hard. And I felt the spirit so strong, and I was like, I need to go on a mission. This isn't just like... Oh, I'm going to go because I'm not married. I've got nothing else going on in my life. Like, I know that this is what I need to do. So, I just finished my papers. And it took me two weeks to do. And I am just, the bishop has them. And he's reviewing them. And hopefully next week I will have them done and turned in. So, I'm so excited. And, um... I hope you guys come along with me on this journey.